came up with the idea of having them use iWeb to create pages and then linking those pages together to host a virtual zoo. From a technology aspect, we were trying to uh, really enlighten students on producing web pages using iWeb. Uh, we were trying to get them to think more critically about using certain images and content from various acceptable websites and then more importantly with the images, identifying images which were or could be transformed. One of the things we built into the project therefore was a lesson with the students um, that talked about copyright and fair use. Uh, we brainstormed with the students what their perceptions were in terms of copyrighted materials. We took them to several different virtual zoos to kind of outline not only what their project should look like, but also to give them the idea of if you're taking an image from a source like that and using it in a similar type of site, that you're not doing anything to transform that image the way it came from the web. And then we talked about some of the copyright friendly uh, places where they could go and find their images. We talked about making sure that you're adding value to those pictures when you put them on the site by the information that they had researched and that linking back to the original uh, site. In, in Flickr every image has its own direct URL and in, in linking back to that URL you are recognizing the photographer of that image and adding value to that original image um, through the information that was on the student's website. This was the email that I received the morning after the pages were put up on our district podcast page. It was sent to myself, the science teacher, as well as our high school principal. Um, the email read, it is not legal or moral to use what belongs to others, at least when it is without permission. I realize in making my photos public on the photo sharing site Flickr.com, I've left myself open to pirates taking my photos and using them without permission to do so. But it is especially disheartening to find people within the realm of education so flagrantly disregarding copyright law and decency. I cannot help but wonder if in addition to biology, your school is also teaching children that theft is morally justified. I was not as concerned, I think, probably as the classroom teacher was because of my background um, in and, and the awareness that I have of fair use and, and copyright issues. Because there are pictures on Flickr that are expressly stated as copyrighted. However, whether or not they're copyrighted, we were adding value and transforming that work. So um, we felt that we didn't need to contact the users or, um, or, or have to worry about whether or not it was copyrighted. We did a reflective piece, and I think that that is um, as important as the emails that we got. And so when the students came in um, that following week, um, after the peer review process, we had a PowerPoint that um, posed questions to the teachers. One was, how did we ensure that the value of pictures on our web page was increased through our use? We wanted to, them to understand what they were doing to add value to those images that they were using. I wouldn't care if people took my picture to learn from it. I would be flattered if they took my picture and made me famous without me knowing it. I think the only time that people care about their images being taken is when the person pirating the picture makes money from taking the picture. I think there's a misunderstanding. These people that are posting their images on Flickr have a misunderstanding that while they have rights, that, that, that those rights are limited and that content creators have rights as well in using those images um, for uh, different purposes.